So in the previous lessons, we looked at various ways in evaluating the limit of a function and one was by direct substitution. That is directly substituting the value that the limit is approaching into the function. So let's say we want to find the limit as x approaches 2 of the function x minus 2 divided by x squared minus 4. Now let's do direct substitution. So we have 2 minus 2 divided by 2 squared minus 4 and that is equal to 0 divided by 0. Again, if you want to find the limit as x approaches infinity of ln x divided by x squared, then that is equal to we have ln of infinity divided by infinity square ln of infinity is infinity and then infinity square is also infinity now you realize that in the first limit after plugging in 2 we obtain 0 over 0 and also in the second limit after plugging in infinity we have infinity over infinity now what do you think is 0 over 0 and what do you think is infinity over infinity now we do not know exactly what these values are we do not exactly know what 0 over 0 is neither do we know exactly what infinity over infinity is so we call these forms indeterminate forms we call these indeterminate forms simply because we don't know exactly what their resulting values are we don't know exactly what their resulting values are now whenever you want to evaluate the limit of a function and then you realize that direct substitution gives you any of these two forms that is 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity then you realize that you can use a different approach we call the L'Hopital's rule and that is exactly what we are going to talk about in today's video L'Hopital's rule now according to this L'Hopital's rule it says that if we have two functions f and g such that both f and g are differentiable and that g prime of x that is the derivative of the function g is not equal to zero then the limit as x approaches a of f over g is equal to the limit of f prime over g prime as x approaches a where f prime and then g prime are the derivative of f and g and then a is any real number so a can be any real number or plus or minus infinity so L'Hopital's rule says that if we have two functions f and g such that they are differentiable and then the derivative of the function g is not equal to zero then we say that the limit of f over g as x approaches a should be equal to the limit of f prime over j prime as x approaches a such that a is any real number or plus or minus infinity so whenever you want to do direct substitution into a limit and then you end up having either 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity then you realize that we can use what we call L'Hopital's rule to evaluate the limit of that function so using L'Hopital's rule let's try to find the actual limits of a and b so for a we have the limit as x approaches 2 of x minus 2 divided by x squared minus 4 so for this direct substitution gave us 0 over 0 
and it means that we can use L'Hopital's rule to do the evaluation of this limit. So that is equal to, we are going to find the derivative of the numerator as well as the derivative of the denominator. So that is equal to the limit as x approaches to. Now when you differentiate the numerator, you have 1. When you differentiate the denominator, you have 2x. Next, let's do direct substitution. So that's going to be 1 over 2 times 2. And that is equal to 1 over 4. So the actual limit of this function is 1 over 4. B. We have the limit as x approaches infinity of ln x divided by x squared. Now, direct substitution gave infinity over infinity. So, we can use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate this limit. So, that is equal to, we differentiate the numerator and that gives us 1 over x. You differentiate the denominator and then you have 2x so that becomes we have the limit as x approaches infinity of if you resolve this or simplify this you are going to have 1 over 2x times x that will be 2x squared now let's do direct substitution so we have 1 over 2 times infinity squared and 2 times infinity square is still infinity so we have 1 over infinity and then 1 over a very large number is equal to 0 so the actual limit of b is equal to 0 so always remember that before you apply L'Hopital's rule direct substitution into the limit or into the function should give you either 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity so before we move on, as we try to solve some more examples, we need to familiarize ourselves with other indeterminate forms we may encounter when we try to solve any other question. So we can have zero times plus or minus infinity. We can as well have one to the power infinity, zero to the power zero, infinity to the power 0 as well as infinity minus infinity so these are other indeterminate forms we may come across indeterminate other indeterminate forms we may come across now whenever you come across these indeterminate forms you need to manipulate the function such that you end up getting 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity when you do direct substitution now the more reason why you should do this is that L'Hopital's rule only works on quotients and so it is very important to manipulate the function such that direct substitution gives 0 over 0 or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity before you can apply L'Hopital's rule now let's solve some more examples so let's try to evaluate this limit. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the function e to the power x minus 1 divided by sine x. So first of all, let's try direct substitution. So we end up plugging in 0 into this limit and then we have e to the power 0 minus 1 divided by sine 0 and that gives e to the power 0 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 divided by sine 0 is also 0 so here we have an indeterminate form that is an indeterminate we have an indeterminate quotient now since we have an indeterminate quotient 0 over 0 we can apply L'Hopital's rule to this limit. So using L'Hopital's rule, we know that the limit as x approaches 0 of the function e to the power x minus 1 divided by 
sin x divided by sin x is equal to we are going to differentiate the numerator and the denominator so we have the limit as x approaches 0 of now when you differentiate e to the power x you still have e to the power x when you differentiate negative 1 which is a constant you have 0 so divided by when you differentiate sin x you end up having cos x now let's try to do direct substitution for this limit so we have e to the power 0 divided by cos 0 and then e to the power 0 is 1 divided by cos 0 is also 1 therefore we have 1 over 1 which is equal to 1 so the limits of this function is equal to 1 2 if we have the limit as x approaches infinity of ln 1 plus e to the power x divided by 5x let's try to evaluate this limit so we do direct substitution and then we have ln to the power e exponent infinity is infinity 1 plus infinity is still infinity and so we have ln of infinity divided by 5 times infinity and then we have infinity over infinity which is also an indeterminate quotient and therefore we can apply L'Hopital's rule so let's try to solve this limit so we have the limit as x approaches infinity of ln 1 plus e to the power x divided by 5x so we apply L'Hopital's rule and then we have the limit as x approaches infinity of so now we differentiate the numerator and we are going to have we are going to differentiate what we have in the bracket so derivative of 1 is going to be 0 and then derivative of e to the power x is going to be e to the power x divided by we are going to write what we still have in the bracket at the denominator so 1 plus e to the power x divided by when you differentiate 5x you have 5 and then if you want to simplify this this is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the power x divided by 5 times 1 plus e to the power x so this becomes 5 over 1 and then when you multiply this that is the numerator by the reciprocal of 5 you end up having times 1 over 5 and then the 5 multiplies the denominator so this is what you are going to arrive at now at this point let's try direct substitution so if we plug in infinity we have e to the power infinity divided by 5 times 1 plus e to the power infinity and then we end up having infinity over this is going to be infinity because e to the power infinity is infinity plus 1 is still infinity and then times 5 is still infinity so we still have an indeterminate form so what this primarily means is that L'Hopital's rule may not work the first time so whenever we have a situation where L'Hopital's rule does not work the first time we need to apply it again in order to evaluate the limit of that function so from this we have the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the power x divided by 5 that is you are multiplying 5 across so 5 plus 5 e to the power x so we are going to apply L'Hopital's rule a second time so we have the limit as x approaches infinity of we differentiate this we still have e to the power x divided by we differentiate 5 we have 0 we differentiate 5 e to the power x and then we have 5 
e to the power x so e to the power x cancels out e to the power x and then we are left with the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over 5 and therefore the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over 5 is 1 over 5 therefore the limit of this function is equal to 1 over 5